the Skinner Auto Group in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the art, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Amanda in Utica, enjoying the sunrise again with the show. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. I'm here in front of the offices of Turnbull Insurance. Uh, they're our presenting sponsor and they've been in Utica for nearly 150 years. In fact, we are going to be featuring Utica today, so stay tuned. James B. Turnbull's first office was overlooking the busy corner of Genesee and Bleecker in downtown Utica in the late 1800s. Today, the fourth generation Turnbull brothers embrace their company's history. One of their prized pieces is a certificate of authority issued to James B. Turnbull in 1882. We have a certificate number five, which is the oldest certificate of authority for the son of London. The oldest certificate in the United States, one through four, had been turned in. And that is for the son of London, which is the oldest insurance company in the world. Uh, they go back to 1710. This certificate is, I believe, about 1882. Um, we've had it for, since 1882, and, uh, and as we talked before, we just had it for any museum quality to protect it you know, from any further damage. But it's quite a unique piece. Uh, my father, years ago, when he found it, wrote to the son of London, and they sent a letter right back that one through four had been turned in, and uh, they sent over books on the company, actually sent a couple of their vice presidents over. So it's, it's quite a unique piece. It goes back that far. While James B. Turnbull was busy building his insurance company, Samuel Clemens was lecturing nearby to a sold-out Utica crowd. Utica hosted the 1884 New York State Republican Convention, and Senator and former Utica Mayor Roscoe Conkling declined an appointment to the Supreme Court, despite the request of President Ulysses S. Grant. We'll learn more about Utica's history when we return. Did you ever If your resolution this year was to try new things, how about an open mic night? Tonight's your chance at the Tramontane Cafe's fourth anniversary open mic night. Need some pointers? Check out John Keller's open mic night tips on our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11.35 p.m. on WKTV. And check out what's new on mohawkvalleyliving.com. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs is your Ford store and your local dealer for Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. You'll find a dedicated sales team ready to serve you and help you find the right vehicle to fit your style and budget. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Now you're thinking smart. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Alex and Nika Restaurant in the heart of Cooperstown. Come in and relax. Fabulous cocktails and eclectic cuisine with something for every taste and budget. Our upstairs dining room is available for parties or private dining. Bring family and friends or that special someone. Alex and Nika Restaurant, open every day for lunch and dinner. You'll find treasure around every corner at Cobbler & Company. Twelve rooms filled with gifts from practical to whimsical and a great selection of children's toys, games, and puzzles. Save 30% on holiday merchandise today and tomorrow at Cobbler & Company in Sharon Springs.
Give your tongue a twist at the Black Cat Cafe. Great coffee, fabulous baked goods, and delicious breakfast, lunch, and afternoon teas. Open Thursday through Monday and online at blackcat-ny.com. The cat's got your tongue. The Black Cat Cafe in Sharon Springs. Spa services have returned to historic Sharon Springs. Modern spa amenities with old world hospitality. Give the gift of wellness. Available instantly at springhousespa.com. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley, we're going on a road trip. Don't want to cook this morning? Enjoy a pancake breakfast at the Utica Manicor on Flanagan Road in Marcy from 9.30 to noon. The Clinton hockey team has a flapjack fundraiser at Applebee's in New Hartford from 8 to 10. And the Ladies Elk Lodge on Mary Street in Herkimer is serving breakfast from 8 to 11. It's time for the Skinner Auto Group Road Trip. Stop in and see Roger at Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs and check out their selection of new and pre-owned Jeeps. This week we head to the city of Utica. Utica was first settled by Europeans on the site of Fort Schuyler in 1773. The fort was located next to the shallowest spot along the Mohawk where early Native Americans forded the river. This area where they traded with early pioneers is now the site of a modern marvel, the Utica Memorial Auditorium. It is now home to some other pioneers, the Utica College Hockey Team, as well as many other local teams and events. It has a capacity to hold 5,700 people, more than half of the population of Utica when it became a city in 1832. Uh, the odd was built as final construction and they, they go 1960 with it. Uh, the big thing about the building was one of the first of its type around, so it got all kinds of shows passing through New York State and was centrally located. Uh, we just received an engineering award uh, for its construction. It's the first suspended ceiling building of its type in this country, one of the first three in the world. Uh, what makes it unique and why we received the award is we're a double-spoke cabled bicycle ceiling. Uh, that gives us a dome effect. Madison Square Garden was the second one. They have a single-spoke uh, hub bicycle ceiling. Well, I'll tell you what, the two of the most memorable concerts we had were last year. We had uh, Further, which is the last two members of the Grateful Dead, Phil Lesh and Bob Weir, that were here. They sold out, tremendous concert. And we had uh, Fish here. And uh, again, it was a sellout concert, naturally. We were the only house in New York State they played, and the smallest house on the tour with 5,500 seats. Uh, the next smallest house on that tour was 10,000, and they played there three days in a row. While they were here, though, they did cut a two-disc DVD that's available online. Oh, nice. So it says, Live in Utica, the fish. So there's a lot of history here. Elvis was supposed to be here two days after he died, so there's still tickets around Utica for that concert. Uh, I haven't got any concerts on the books yet, but we've got monster trucks coming up. We've got the Jordan Circus. We've got the Wine and Chocolate Festival. We've got uh, uh, the, gymna the uh, Leatherstocking Gymnastics Competition coming up next month, as well as the Globe Trotters this month. Uh, so, we're booked up again. I have some very fond memories of the Odd. I can remember when it opened, and I can remember what the, uh, the first show here was. I believe it was the Ice Capades, and I came to see it. Now it's uh, the home to hockey teams. It's the home ice for Utica College. It's busy all the time. Uh, there was a question way back then. I was only, what, 19 years old? As to whether it would succeed, it has and it's really a very integral part of Utica. You can catch the Utica Pioneers men's hockey at the Odd this month on January 20th, 21st, and 27th. Women's hockey is on the 22nd, 28th, and 29th. Also at the Odd next weekend is the annual Leatherstocking Invitational Gymnastic Competition. To find out what's all at the Odd, visit our website, mohawkbellyliving.com. It was the boom town around here when Gillette stepped off that train. Canals flowing, hops growing, new towns being raised. There were fortunes to be made. He was a well-dressed one-man show. A tail spinner, a heart winner with a lusty ego. It was a boom town around here. How I wished I was there. It was a rockin' boom town around here. with a girl named Grace working in a petticoat factory. 
The 100-year-old cobblestone building at 421 Broad Street that was under construction when we visited last year has opened with a new cafe on the first floor. The Bag Square Cafe will celebrate its first year anniversary this month, and patrons are celebrating their fresh baked goods and fresh brewed Starbucks coffee. Chef John Stotts is eager to show off what he can do with a sandwich, and the word sandwich falls short of describing his delectable creations. The cafe is open every weekday from 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And don't forget to top it off with their famous red velvet cupcakes. The Mohawk River and Erie Canal were made nearly obsolete for transportation with the advent of the railroad. Harbor Point Road runs along the tracks that are still busy with trains today. A building that once had train tracks running right through it for locomotive repair is now home to Falvo Manufacturing Company. The company goes back 50 years in 2011. We were, uh, we started, by, we were started by my father and two brothers over on Caroline Street, then to West Utica by the old Borden milk plant. My father moved here about 25 years ago and Harbor Point's been home ever since. The building that we're in now is our industrial division. We make shipping crates, pallets, boxes, everything from the grade stakes that they use to lay out roads and parking lots to boxes for cannons that are made just outside of Albany. Uh, in our building next door, we manufacture furniture. And our market there is primarily the healthcare market, uh, colleges, we do a lot of store displays, but a more institutional or commercial customer there. Well, my, my father ran the company for many years, retired a little while ago, is here every day, but uh, I run the company. We have employees that uh, many of them have been here 20 years plus. Well, my dad retired about 14 years ago, and as his retirement party, we went to a local restaurant and he bought me a, a scotch to uh, congratulate me on the presidency, and I bought him a scotch to congratulate him on his retirement. And the next day, we were here at work together, the same as before. The automobile has gone through many changes through the years, but the Turnbull family's commitment to local drivers has not. Researching and selecting the best coverage for you with unparalleled service, claims handling, and settlement. Turn to a local company with four generations of knowledge and experience. Turn to Turnbull. Visit the tea bar at Trenton Teas for a delicious variety of fine teas or arrange your own tea in the tea room. Don't be late for the Mad Hatter Tea Party Saturday, January 21st. Call 381-5049 or visit trentonteas.com to make your reservations. Shop shelter for one-of-a-kind handmade gifts unlike anything you'll find elsewhere. Jewelry of sterling silver with inlaid stones and fossils. Adirondack frames, mirrors, and rustic furniture. And custom furniture designed by Jim Kiefer. Shelter, Main Street Old Forge. The Village Hall Gallery in Sharon Springs presents the works of over two dozen local artists and now features beautiful Thistle Hill weavings. The Village Hall Gallery in downtown Sharon Springs. Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. Visit Maria's Pasta Shop for Italian gift baskets and be sure to order your holiday party trays. Impress your friends and family with homemade pasta from Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. Where can you find fair trade local and organic gifts like Dean's Beans coffee, fresh bulk almonds and cashews, and hand-dipped candles and local pottery? Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Don't let a special diet keep you from enjoying the taste of the season. The Dessert Booth has vegan, gluten-free, and other food allergy treats. Call ahead for special orders. The Dessert Booth in Clinton. 
Meatland's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib, and be sure to pre-order your fresh seafood and shrimp platters. Meatland's Market, at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Warm up with a hot bowl of homemade soup at the Blue Dragon Cafe. Try Savory Harvest Moon or West African Peanut Soup. And don't forget their gluten-free breads and desserts at the Blue Dragon Cafe in Clayville. Traveling around the Mohawk Valley We're going on a road trip Go on along. A familiar silhouette in the Utica skyline is the steeple of Grace Episcopal Church. The building's architect was Richard Upjohn, the same architect of the Old Trinity Church in New York City, and was contracted by Utica businessman Alfred Munson. We're given a tour of the magnificent church by newly appointed Father Leon Moselock, and we're given historical information by archivist Wes Storm. The church was formed in 1838, and the original church was over in the corner of Columbia and Broadway. Mm -hmm. It was a wooden structure, and they stayed there for a few years, and then this was finally built. Father Brandy died before it was totally completed, but then it was co completed. And uh, interesting fact about the steeple on the church, it was taken down about 30 years after the church was built because they discovered it was leaning 16 inches to the east. They took it all down and Mrs. Proctor paid to have that rebuilt. And that's a Tiffany window in the chapel. Mm -hmm. And these windows back here were made by Henry Holiday in uh, England and they talk about the seven days of creation. Mm -hmm. And if you go up there, you could follow that right across down to the day he rests, which is the dead center. Grace Church has weekday liturgies Tuesday through Friday and Sunday services starting at 8 a.m. Something in you just can't explain. When the sun it shines down, bright colors we stay the same. All the stones we carry, they remain. All the stars are falling from the sky. Another architectural marvel on Genesee Street is the Utica Public Library. This beautiful five-story neoclassic building is on the National Register of Historic Places. It may be an old building, but it is bustling inside with young energy. The groundwork was laid in 1902. It opened to the public in 1904. So it took about two years to build the building. Uh, I think the most interesting thing about the building is that it was built by the same architectural firm that did the main New York Public Library on uh, Fifth Avenue in New York City. One of the things that is in this building are a number of skylights, and in the lobby is the main skylight. The idea was to bring sunlight into the interior of the building. When the building opened, incandescent lighting was being used, so it was relatively dim. And so to bring in the natural sunlight, they have the skylights. The glass floor helped to bring the um, sunlight into the stack area also. We are very proud of our programs for children. We do lots of uh, cultural educational programs, uh, lots of reading incentive programs. We wanna make sure that kids are reading outside of the classroom. We also do a lot of computer classes and we do uh, provide public computing for people. Um, public libraries in the United States are the biggest providers of free public computing for the community. We help, help to bridge the digital divide. Those people that can't afford to have computers in their own home or can't afford broadband internet access, can come to a library. Mm -hmm. Or if people are traveling or have their own uh, laptop, they can come in and use our Wi-Fi. 
we have a lot of people that come in here and just spend time and we're trying to make the building more welcoming so that people feel really good about coming in here and spending some time and sitting and reading or using our resources. There's a lot happening at the Utica Public Library. This Tuesday is James Dean Night. The classic film Rebel Without a Cause will be shown at 6.30 with free prizes after the film. The library's fourth annual Express Yourself Art Contest, sponsored by Turnbull Insurance, is calling for entries from artists age 18 and up. Entries are accepted on Friday, January 27th and is limited. Call 735-2279 for information. We head deep into East Utica to Ventura's Restaurant, where we find RJ busy as ever in the kitchen. He's carrying on a family tradition that started back in 1943, the same year the Yankees won the World Series despite losing Joe DiMaggio to the war effort. One of the more famous landmarks here in Utica is the flagpole here at Ventura's that flies the Yankee flag. Of course, you should know, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you, that it's known for one thing in particular. If the Yankees win a game on a particular day, the flag flies at full mast. If they lose, it's at half mast. Back when I was a kid, we'd listen to the game on the radio, and if you should happen to miss the game, all you had to do was drive down here to find out if the Yankees won or lost. Okay, since the last time you were here, a lot has happened. Um, I got married. I have a son, Alan Remy Lease IV. Uh, we've remodeled our grotto, and we did some work in the bar. And we've also jarred our famous marinara sauce, so that way we can ship it to whoever wants it. And it's also at Shinatri's and Diorio Supermarket in Old Forge, so you can purchase it. And the Yankee flag is still on the top of the building flying, so that's a tradition that's been going on since 1943, I believe, when my grandfather started it. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. The walls of the restaurant are covered with Yankee memorabilia and photographs. Rufus Ventura Jr. points out some recent photographs of famous visitors. Uh, we had uh, this uh, dear friend of mine, Mike Therese and Bucky Dent. Mike Therese is the, the pitcher that gave up the home run to Bucky Dent uh, years ago when they were with Boston and the Yankees. And Mike is a very dear friend of ours. He played in our golf tournament. And they both came down here for dinner. And yeah. why are they, why do people um, love to hate him? Well, Boston, the Boston and the Yanks, you know, the, the old uh, rivalry between. And when uh, Therese gave up the home run to Bucky Dent, you know, they blew the game. So it's, They've been, uh, they've been together, I think for both of them, worked out pretty well. You know, during the speaking tour and the banquet tour, so they, I think financially helped them out a lot. Yeah. Ventura's opened in 1943 when I was two years old, and that was before WKTV was even on the air. And uh, I'm looking at this menu, this is from 1960. It's amazing. I would like, uh, for starters, some of the French onion soup. That's a quarter, right? It was right there. It says 25 cents. And then I'm going to have uh, some of the uh, scallopini uh, with uh, veal, veal scallopini. That's $2. Okay. I'm still under 250 That's not bad. Um, I could have some relish. I'll have some tomato juice for 10 cents. <laughs> so you've been here, I'm, I've, you've been here for uh, 71 years, I'm told. That's uh, year number 44. <laughs> wow. That's why people come here, it's because of you. Oh, yeah. They do, they really do. Yeah. It has been four, maybe five years since we last filmed here. I can tell you one thing that has not changed, it's the top quality of the food, all I can say is, holy cow, it's still amazing. They're open today and every day for lunch and dinner. Head on down. Traveling around the Mohawk Valley, we're going on a road trip. Go on along, pack up the family. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner Auto. Check out this 2010 Jeep Compass, a 4x4 with great gas mileage? It's true. And now only $17,765. Just one of the many great pre-owned vehicles at Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs.
Plan a visit to the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie this month and experience the bold impressionist style of J. Hall Conaway. Also enjoy American paintings from the 1920s and 30s. Visit the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie, just off the thruway at exit 29. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. The perfect wedding, the perfect retreat, the perfect weekend getaway. The Oneida Community Mansion House, perfect for any occasion. Call 363-0745. The fashions of the season are on sale now at the Village Crossing. Save 20 to 50% on most clothing store-wide, including shoes and Maruka handbags at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden, 339 Bleecker Street in downtown Utica. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited, providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. Off-Center Records and Collectibles on Bleecker Street is Utica's only source for new and vintage vinyl. There's a huge selection of CDs, t-shirts, books, memorabilia, guitars, turntables, and more. Off-Center Records is also the place to pick up much of the music heard on Mohawk Valley Living. Take a spin to Off-Center Records at 116 Bleecker Street in Utica. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 6. Shelter is the place for extraordinary custom furniture, designed by Jim Kiefer and built to your specifications. You'll find Adirondack rustic furniture as well as fine hardwood kitchen cabinets, bedroom and dining room sets, and the exclusive line of Old Hickory at Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for local links, blogs, and more. In celebration of Elvis Presley's birthday today, John Keller has an interview with Doug DeMarsh, who recorded an Elvis tribute song called Lisa in 1978. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com. We hope that you enjoyed today's show and that our tour of the library stacked up to your expectations. Bad high, though. When you come to the library, there is something else here worth seeing. It's worth coming down here, as a matter of fact. I'm standing in front of it. The painting here is a very, very famous painting of the battle at Oriskany. It's been on stamps, it's been featured throughout the country, and this is the original painting. Come down to see it. We probably could do a whole year on Utica, so we are coming back next week. Be sure to tune in then, and between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley Living. What it is. Young ones.